A good education can change anyone. A good teacher can change everything. Good evening. Welcome to the 2022 virtual graduation of the Future Teachers of the Bahamas program, commonly known as Teachers Cadets. My name is Stephanie Wiley, a graduate of the Anatole Rogers High School. It is my pleasure to guide you through our virtual ceremony. As graduates, we have been taught to put God first in everything we do. In keeping with this tradition, Kendall Gibson, a graduate of the Northey Luther High School, will lead us in an opening prayer. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, this evening we come before you giving thanks. We give thanks for a country where opportunities for education abound. We give thanks for the gift of learning and the gift of teaching. We thank you for the experiences and opportunities you enabled us to experience within the Teacher Cadet Program. We thank you for placing us among supportive parents, supportive relatives, supportive teachers, and supportive friends. We ask a special blessing on each graduate being celebrated tonight. Help them to prosper in all that they do. Help them to lean on you when things get tough. Give them strength when needed, wisdom when requested, and grace to see each season of their lives through heaven's eyes. We bring this virtual installation to you today, and we pray that you would be with each person participating and each person watching. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, Kendall. And now, coming to bring welcome remarks is the coordinator of the Teacher Cadet Program, Mistress Demetria Rule. Following her, stay tuned as some of our seniors tell us how they will make a difference as teachers. Welcome to the 27th graduation exercise of the Bahamas Teacher Cadet Program and our third virtual graduation ceremony. While we cannot wait to be able to resume face-to-face -face meetings and cadet graduations, we're grateful to have this opportunity to highlight the 27 students who have successfully completed the Teacher Cadet Program this year. This group of graduates is special because through all the stormy ups and downs of the past three years, they are the 27 that rode the waves, kept sailing, and have arrived at destination graduation. I'm so proud of these cadets. So for the next hour, join me in celebrating them. This intelligent, diligent, impressive group of cadets whose flexibility, commitment to excellence, and passion for education recommend them as the kind of future teachers we need in Bahamian classrooms in the future. So leave a comment to encourage each of them. Share the graduation link with family and friends and let's celebrate the Bahamas Teacher Cadets Class of 2022. Once again, on behalf of the Ministry of Education and Technical and Vocational Training Future Teachers of the Bahamas Program, welcome. I'm Maria Brown and I am a senior at the Orange and West Columbia School. I've been in the Teachers Cadet program for five years. My favorite part of the program is lesson planning. It is my favorite because I know when I become a teacher I have to learn lesson plans and I have an idea now on how to lesson plan. I plan to make a difference in my future by becoming an English language teacher and touching the students that I teach. Good day, my name is Akitra Brown. I go to the institution of Obey High School where I serve as deputy head girl. I've been in the teacher's cadet program for one year now and I've learned a lot within the year. My favorite thing to be looking forward to for each meeting is to get to see the amount of colleagues I'll be working with in the future. My goal for, my goal for the future is to bring more awareness about learning a second language and the amount of fun you can have doing it for my teacher class. My name is Valia Fernander. I am a senior at Central Luther High School. I have been a part of the Teacher Cadet program for three years. 
My favorite part of the program was tutoring and sharing knowledge with new individuals across the Bahamas. I plan to make a difference in the future by becoming a leader and a teacher to those My in need. My name is Vernita Knowles. I am a senior at the prestigious R.M. Bailey Senior High School. I've been a part of the Teacher Cadet program for one year. My favorite part of this program was definitely the community tutoring. I plan to make a difference in the future by creating a vision board that will highlight my goals and aspirations so that I can visually see them and work towards them. Hello, my name is Maya Lewis and I'm a senior at Queens College. I've been a part of the Teacher Cadet program for two and a half years. My favorite part of the program was definitely community tutoring. In the future, I plan to make a difference by teaching young children proper morals and giving them education. Hello, my name is Paige Lewis and I am a senior at the Great Huntley Christie High School. I've been a part of the Teacher Cadet program for about three years now. My favorite part about the program was definitely tutoring hands down. I loved using my emojis and creating Google Classroom and using fun resources for my students' assignments. I plan to make a difference by making education fun for my students. I want them to be enthusiastic about learning. Thank you. Hello, my name is Loyal McCartney and I'm a senior at Jackie Wood Senior High School. I've been in the Teacher's Cadet program for three years and my favorite part of this program was learning about the psychological development and growth stages of our youth. In the future, I hope to become a primary school educator who inspires and enhances the learning capabilities of my students. Hello, my name is Lene Miller. I am a senior at Atlantic High School. I've been in the Teacher's Cadet program for at least over an, a year now. My favorite part about the program was when they allowed us to tutor children. We, we known them as our tutee. I had two amazing children, a boy and a girl, Renee and Ren Tamiko. They were awesome children. What I love about them was they was very talkative, so I know they're interacting within the lesson. I plan to make a difference in the future by allowing children to learn based on hands or material things that they can use to actually learn on their own, not by me going to the board and teaching, but allowing them to learn on their own. That is called Montessori learning, so I want to change it up a little bit, make a difference in my future by allowing children to understand and to learn by using material, using things. My name is Savannah Monroe. I am a senior at Central Luther High School. I've been a part of the Teacher's Cadet program for three years. And I have a lot of favorite memories with Teacher's Cadet, but I think one of my favorite ones was tutoring and learning how students behave and act in the virtual environment and learning their behaviors and what they like and what they don't like. Um, and I plan to make a difference in teaching by actually learning my students, listening to their problems and trying to help them as much as, they, as much as I can, and just wanting to work with them and learn, you know, different ways of teaching so it isn't so boring. My name is Samara and I graduated from Tamil Christian High School. I have been a part of the program for three years and my favorite part was tutoring. My name is Kai Taylor. I am a senior at the Central Andrews High School. I have been a part of the Teacher Cadet program for one year. My favorite part of the program was the general meetings where the, all the cohorts would meet together. I plan to make a difference in the future by creating a conductive and social environment for learning, allowing my future students to be themselves, but also teaching them how to conduct themselves. My name is Stephanie Wiley and I attend Anatole Rogers High and I have been a part of the Teacher's Cadets program for three years. And my favorite part about the program was meeting new cadets around the Bahamas and attending meetings with new advisors, new teens, and new kids to tutor. And in the future, I plan to spread my knowledge with the next generation. Thank you, Mrs. Rule. Congratulations, cadets. We have made it to the end of the three-year teacher cadet program. And for that, you should be as proud as I am. Coming to open a window into what this year's program was like is Jazara Taylor, a graduate of Central Elutra High School, who will present this year in review. When 
9 months, 7 units, 8 hours of tutoring, 2 portfolios, 1 website, 1 busy academic year in the Teacher's Cadet Program. The year started in September with 128 cadets from 13 high schools across the country. For the second consecutive year, the program was offered entirely virtually with meetings, assignments, and community tutoring conducted via Zoom. During the fall semester, we dove into our curriculum with large and small group sessions. We explored physical development in children and adults. We also examined cognitive development, psychosocial development, and moral development and discovered how to teach children at each step of these various developmental stages. In all, after 12 meetings and 14 assignments, we were finally done with one semester online and we were ready for semester two. Semester two is usually practical, and this year, we once again offer tutoring to students in our communities via online platforms. We embrace the challenge. In January, we created Digital Classrooms, our Bemoji Classroom. We had a blast letting our creativity shine through as we design and decorate our virtual spaces. To help our students to have an online space that they could use as a resource whenever they needed it, we also created our own learning websites. Beginning in March, we put on our teacher hats. From Monday to Thursday each week, various cadets joined the Teacher's Cadet Zoom Room and entered their breakout room where students entered to receive tutoring. We were able to teach primary and junior high school students in various subjects. After each session, our mentors met with us to discuss the lesson, give us tips, and plan the next session. For six weeks, we felt like teachers. From theory to practical, the 2021 to 2022 academic year exposed all of us to important tools that we will use to become teachers of the highest quality. Day by day, month by month, the program continues to live up to its motto, inspiring a new generation of teachers, one student at a time. Thank you, Jizaro. The memories you have awoken are fond ones. And now, the class of 2022 would like to take a moment to say a special thank you to those teachers who have mentored us over the past three years. Coming to thank them on our behalf is Kai Taylor of Central Andrews High School with a tribute to teachers. Throughout our adolescent years, when we are at our most vulnerable, when we are still trying to reconcile ourselves to adulthood, there are select people who stand by us and guide us through our unsure times. Anyone can be one of these people. A friend, a parent, a sibling, a priest, or a teacher. Today is a unique occasion. Not only are we celebrating the class of 2022, but also we are taking time out to honor those who have taken on the responsibility of educating and guiding us through life and we recall the tremendous sacrifices that made by our teachers. A teacher is more than a learning facilitator. A teacher is more than an educator. A teacher can take on any role, including that of a friend, therapist, or a mentor. In fact, a teacher's mentorship extends long after their students would have passed through the portals of school and stepped into the world of compulsory education. During the years of our youth and adolescence, when the friends we make are likely to be the friends we keep. It is our teachers who guide us on our path. When we fall, a teacher usually picks us up, dusts us off, and assists us in getting back on our feet. To the teachers that pushed us to be our best selves, we say thank you. You put endless hours into grading papers, helping students, and making sure each one of them is receiving the best education possible, even when you know you won't get paid for all those extra hours. When sorrow comes our way, and all who surround us can offer no comfort, it is not uncommon for a teacher to lend us a shoulder to cry on. How many of us have gone to a teacher for help? I can assure you today that all of us have, at one point or another, sought a teacher's help, whether for help with homework or with a difficult situation at hand. How many of us have been comforted by a teacher when we found ourselves in distress? How many have received good counsel from a teacher or had a teacher listen to our problems? We are extremely grateful. Today, 
We, the graduating class of the Teacher Cadet Program 2022, would like to express our gratitude for everything you have done for us. You have never let us down in any way. You have taken our failure in stride and laughed about it. You have taken our talents and nurtured them. You have always forgiven us for our numerous mistakes. Most importantly, you have never turned us down when we needed assistance. Today, we can state that, even though we may be irritable at times, and perhaps even all the time, as teachers, you have shown us by example how to conduct our lives as we continue along life pathway. Teachers, you have given us your love, and we could not ask for more. Thank you. Thank you, Kai. Yes, teachers, we appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, most of our graduates aspire to teach in school. We desire to teach in a people's place. What do we mean by that? We Enroll Junior of L.N. Coakley High School will present the poem, A People's Place. Following him, some of our teachers will say a fond farewell to the class of 2022. Good evening, everyone. My name is Wayne Rule, and I will be presenting a poem entitled A People Place by William J. Crocker. If this is not a place where tears are understood, where do I go to cry? If this is not a place where my spirits can take wing, where do I go to fly? If this is not a place where my questions can be asked, where do I go to seek? If this is not a place where my feelings can be heard, where do I go to speak? If this is not a place where you will accept me as I am, where can I go to be? If this is not a place where I can try to learn and grow, where can I just be me? Thank you. This is indeed a wonderful day in the lives of our future teachers of the Bahamas graduates, class of 2022. A rousing round of applause and congratulations to you all, especially Mr. Wayne Roll of cohort number 14. Graduates, you have all worked so hard to achieve success and you are deserving of all of the tributes, accolades and gifts you will receive. I admonish you though, don't stop here, no. Keep climbing, seeking, perfecting, and growing. Remember these words from Deuteronomy 31 and 8. The Lord himself goes before you, and he will be with you. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. I salute you. Again, congratulations. This tribute goes out to Kai Taylor, cadet of Central Andros High School. I'm so proud of you. You've made it to the end of one milestone and you are now moving on to university where you're going to excel and you're going to be an excellent teacher. Just remember, put God first and I'm going to be with you 100% of the way. I love you and God bless. Graduation is an exciting time. It's both an ending and a beginning. In fact, it is a sweet ending to a new and bright beginning. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams and always remember to put God first in everything you do. Special congratulations to Lakeithra Brown from cohort number 13 and all of the other graduates. You've made it. Congratulations to all of the Teacher Cadet cohorts, but more specifically, Congratulations to Cohort 12 of Huntley Christie High School, Ellie Evans, Paige Lewis, and Marshall Hinsey. You did it, guys. You have received a taste of what we do as teachers, and you stuck it out. Now, as you enter into college to further your teaching journey, take full advantage, do well, and put God first. Once again, congratulations. Class of 2022 cadets. Congrats! You made it! Yay! It's been a wild ride these past few years. I mean, first we started with Dorian. Oh my God, Dorian. Then the pandemic. And then if that wasn't bad enough, you know, there was so many school changes. I mean, 
one minute you don't know what's happening, then we're all virtual, we're all virtual. And then there's hybrid. Try to remember which days you have to come to school, which days you've got to stay home. Then there was face-to-face, -face, but we did that at a distance. At a distance. Okay, with the same little hybrid mentality. It's been crazy. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You're here. You made it. You kept the faith. You persevered. You kept going even though I know many days you just wanted to curl up in your bed with your blanket on your head and keep it there. I know. You're here. Congratulations. I am so proud of you guys. It's been wild. It's been rough. But you know what? Only the strong survive. And I'm guessing Teacher Cadet's got the strongest of them all. Because not only did you survive regular school, you survived Teacher Cadets as well. Thank you. Thank you for keeping on, keeping on. And so, I just want to just say, you know what? Guess what? After all of that, the best is yet to come. Because we still got life. And for most of us, this is not the end of our academic journey. And I wish you every 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 success in your academic life in your career life in your personal life you've come you've did so much in such a little time I guess what you're bound to be a success and I want to especially admonish those persons who are going to continue in the education field guess what my sage advice to you is just this Lean not on your own understanding. Seek wise counsel. Sit at the feet of those teachers who, who you admonish and who you admire, who you see yourselves becoming in the next five, ten years. Seek their counsel. And I can tell you, you're going to enjoy this wild ride called education. I love you. Thanks for allowing me to be a part of your journey so far. And I'm going to say a special shout out to Ebony and Danico, my CC Sweeting students. It's been so good having to be your teacher in real life as well as on Teacher Cadets. Thank you guys for staring the course. And I love you. Hasta luego. Thank you, Ween. We hope that one day, we can help to make every school in the Bahamas a people's place. Thank you teachers for your heartwarming farewell. Coming now, ladies and gentlemen, to give our keynote address is a lady who really needs no introduction. She is a five-time member of Parliament for Angliston, having won her seat for the first time in 2002. She is the longest serving female parliamentarian in Bahamian history and the nation's first female Minister of Transport and Aviation. She currently serves as the Minister of Education and Technical and Vocational Training. Please stay tuned for a special message from the Honorable Glenis Hannah Martin. Just before her message, Loyal McCartney, a graduate of Jack Hayward High School, will present the song, To God Be the Glory.
Good evening to the graduating class of the Future Teachers of the Bahamas program. Congratulations on completing your three-year journey as teacher cadets. You are the 27th group of students that have benefited from the knowledge and experience that is part and parcel of being a future teacher. Since 1995, the Teacher Cadet program has inspired high school students to explore the rewarding profession of teaching. There are over 350 teachers in public and private schools today who develop their love of pedagogy first as teacher cadets. I am aware that more than any of, any of the graduates that have gone before you, you have had the most difficult three-year journey. Instead of being able to meet face-to-face -face with your fellow cadets each week, all of your meetings were moved to Zoom. Instead of gathering with cadets across the country each year for the annual National Teacher Cadet Conference, you had to attend webinars, seeing your fellow aspiring teachers across screens rather than across workshop rooms. Instead of being able to tutor face to face and decorate your bulletin boards and classrooms, you had to tutor using Zoom, Google Classroom and Teams, and you had to decorate virtual spaces. You are the group of cadets that had to make the most adjustments in the most challenging times in education in the Bahamas and around the world. And yet, you did it. Despite the challenges, you still received top scores on lesson assignments, exploring education, philosophers, child development, classroom management, and the new curriculum model, online and hybrid learning. You did not get to decorate classrooms, but you learned how to make your personalized websites that you use to tutor. These websites can be further developed, expanded, and customized to meet the unique needs of your future students. You did not get to meet the students you tutored face to face, but you were able to give four additional hours to them in virtual lessons than you would, have, than you would not have had time to do in a face to face setting. You met every challenge head on. You found a way around every obstacle. For this, you are to be truly commended. Embracing challenges and overcoming obstacles is a skill set that will be needed in the future in your classrooms in which you will teach. Indeed, teachers currently serving in the classroom across the archipelago can attest to the fact that being flexible, creative, and thinking outside of the box becomes an imperative when facing unprecedented challenges. Our teachers have done a heroic job of meeting the challenges of the past two and a half years brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic to provide educational opportunities for Bahamian students. You have seen your own teachers pressing onward. You have been mentored by some of these teachers who have shared with you the challenges, but also the many joys of the teaching profession. Now, armed with deeper knowledge of the field of education, equipped with greater understanding of the pedagogy, and sobered by all the challenges you may encounter, you have made the informed decision to enroll in the School of Education at the University of the Bahamas to pursue a career in teaching. You have made the right choice. Our nation needs teachers passionate about teaching as you are right now. Remember the lessons that you've learned within the cadet program. Remember the joys that you experienced when you successfully assisted your peers and the students you tutored to master a new skill. Remember the satisfaction you expressed when parents made a special effort to thank you for pouring into their child. Let these memories comfort you when university courses seem daunting. Let them encourage you when many around you try to tell you that you, just, you can do more than just teach. Affirm for the naysayers that teaching is the profession of choice. Indeed, the profession that makes all other professions possible. As I read the teacher cadet pledge that you recited weekly for three years, I note that the closing line says, and one day as a teacher, remember to discern the person that wants most to teach must never cease to learn. I trust that these words planted seeds within each of you to be teachers that are ever learning, ever growing, ever striving to be teachers of the highest quality. 
One day in the not so distant future, it is you who will be eligible to apply for promotions to senior and master teacher within the teacher's career path. You are already on that path. At this time, I would like to recognize the teachers that served as mentors to you over the past three years within the Teacher Cadet Program. Ms. Sanari Neely, Ms. Anthonek Gilbert, Ms. Anya Mills, Ms. Deandra Sands, Ms. Demnair Munnings, Ms. Holly Woodside, Ms. Kenya McIntosh, Ms. Shanique Hart, Ms. Michaela higgs Roll, and Ms. Parry Sands Culmer. Thank you for mentoring 42 cadets on the islands of Andros, Abuco, Grand Bahama, Exuma, Eleuthera, and Spanish Wells. Mrs. Michaela Wells and Ms. Vanria Bastian, thank you for being pioneers. You successfully mentored 13 cadets from the Berry Islands, San Salvador, Eight Mile Rock and Grand Bahama, and Harbor Island in the first combined virtual cohorts, keeping students you have never met face to face engaged and enthused. Well done. Hats off to Miss Asia Gibson, Chakia Charlton, Kellyanne Russell, Ariadne Munnings, Shanika Roll, Tara Cox, Wilma Dames, and the only male mentor, Mr. Sidney Sawyer, who mentored 37 cadets in public and independent schools on New Providence. Teachers, your labor of love for the future teachers of this country and for the teaching fresh profession in general in the Bahamas has not gone unnoticed, and I thank you. A special thank you to the coordinator of the Teacher Cadet Program, Mr. Mrs. Demetria Roll, who has the responsibility for writing the curriculum materials and monitoring every cohort in the country to ensure that they are su successful. Thank you, Mrs. Roll. Graduates, you have now come to the end of one chapter of your educational journey, and you turn a fresh page to begin a new story write a good one. Make it an autobiography filled with tales of university transcripts proclaiming your commitment to excellence in higher education. Make it an action adventure replete with a cornucopia of new experiences that you can one day share with your students. Make it a how-to manual with research-based methodologies that will help you to make the most out of your future lessons. Make it a success story filled with the realization of the highest of your hopes. I look forward one day to reading it and to meeting all of you. Congratulations, class of 2022. Good luck and God bless you. Thank you, Minister, for your inspiring words. Your passion for the children of our nation, your commitment to inspiring change among the teachers, both now and in the future is evident. Thank you for giving us words that we will remember long after we enter our schools as teachers. Loyal, your rendition of To God Be the Glory was a true display of your unique talent. Thank you for blessing us with it. And now, Miss Asia Gibson, a teacher mentor for the New Providence Independent School Cohort Group 1 and teacher at St. Anne's High School will present to you the Teacher Cadet Class of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the Future Teachers of the Bahamas, Class of 2022. Kiara Bastian, C.R. Walker Senior High School, Future Teacher of English language. Gerald Bethel, C.R. Walker Senior High School, future teacher of primary school. Aria Brown, R.N. Gomez Comprehensive School, future teacher of English language. Lakithra Brown, Old Bite High School, future teacher of Spanish. Danico Charles, CC Sweeting Senior High School, future teacher of Religious Studies. 
Ellie Evans, Huntley Christie High School, future teacher of mathematics. Audenique Farrington, C.R. Walker Senior High School, future teacher of primary school. Valia Fernanda, Central Eleuthera High School, future teacher of primary school. Kendall Gibson Jr., North Eleuthera High School, future teacher of music. Marshall Hunzi, Huntley Christie High School, future teacher of science. Vernita Knowles, R.M. Bailey, Senior High School, future teacher of social studies. Maya Lewis, Queens College, future teacher of elementary school. Paige Lewis, Huntley Christie High School, future teacher of religious studies. Loyal McCartney, Jack Haywood Senior High School, future teacher of primary school. Lene Miller, Atlantic High School, future teacher of primary school. Savannah Monroe, Central Eleuthera High School, future teacher of primary school. Okala Pinda, R.M. Bailey Senior High School, future teacher of religious studies. Rexville Pratt, C.I. Gibson Senior High School, future teacher of primary school. Samaya Roll, Temple Christian High School, future teacher of primary school. Wayne Roll, L. and Coakley High School, teacher of theology. Kezia Sargent, C.R. Waka, senior high school, future teacher of primary school. Ebony Stort, C.C. Sweeting, senior high school, future teacher of health science. Jazara Taylor, Central Eleuthera High School, future teacher of history. Kai Taylor, Central Andrus High School, future teacher of biology. Hope Wallace, R.M. Bailey Senior High School, future teacher of biology. Stephanie Wiley, Anatole Rogers High School, future teacher of English language and literature. Carlisa Wright, C.R. Walker Senior High School, future teacher of engineering. Congratulations, class of 2022. We wish you all the best. And now, it is time to recognize our special awards. The following graduates completed the 2021-2022 academic year with special credit. Valia Fernander, Central Eleuthera High School. Savannah Monroe, Central Eleuthera High School. Samaya Rowe, Temple Christian High School. Jazara Taylor, Central Eleuthera High School. Hope Wallace, R.M. Bailey Senior High School. Stephanie Wiley, Anatole Rogers High School. The following graduates 
completed the 2021-2022 academic year with distinction. Aria Brown, Aaron Gomez Comprehensive School. Ellie Evans, Huntley Christie High School. Marichelle Hinsey, Huntley Christie High School. Vernita Knowles, R.M. Bailey Senior High School. Maya Lewis, Queens College. Paige Lewis, Huntley Christie High School. Loyal McCartney, Jack Haywood Senior High School. Ocala Pinder, R.M. Bailey Senior High School. Ebony Stewart, C.C. Sweeting Senior High School. Kai Taylor, Central Andros High School. Wayne Roll, Ellen Coakley High School. Congratulations, graduates. You did it, and you did it with distinction. And now, we recognize our valedictorian, the graduate of the year who scored top marks during the 2021-2022 academic year. This year, our graduate of the year is a student of the R.N. Gomez Comprehensive School. She has been a teacher cadet for the past three years, earning top scores each year. We congratulate Gadet Aria Brown, who scored 98% as her final score for this academic year. Congratulations, Aria. And now, Kendall Gibson will lead the graduates in the Gadet Pledge for the final time. I pledge to strive for excellence in everything I do, to be the student I would want to give my labor to, to learn the pedagogy that will help me to excel, to serve the students I will touch to serve my country well. With God's help to guide me, I will always keep in mind that I will ever strive to be fair, reflective, honest, and kind. And one day as a teacher, remember to discern that the person that most wants to teach must never cease to learn. Thank you. Way to go, outstanding graduates. At this time, we would like to thank everyone who have played any small part in making tonight's ceremony a success, including the Honorable Minister of Education and Technical and Vocational Training, the Honorable Glennis Hanna Martin, the Communications Section, the Career Path Section, including Miss Philippa Johnson, Mistress Charlene Bethel, Miss Sabrina Bryce, Mistress Tiffany Saunders, and Mistress Demetria Rule. Teachers, teacher mentors, our parents, family, and support network. All graduates that participated in this evening's ceremony, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been my pleasure serving as your moderator for this evening's virtual ceremony, which has now come to a close. Graduates, here's to us. I'll see you at UB in the fall.